so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this video laying on my stomach because there's a cat on my back who doesn't really seem to want to be going anywhere. <laughs> Fucking cats. Um, so this is my year, two and a half weeks on tea video. Um, I actually almost didn't get this done. I'm going out of town tomorrow for a week. So I'm like, trying to pack, and I haven't slept, like, at all the past three days, so. <laughs> I kind of stare at the camera blankly. Just ignore me. Not really. Um, let's see. Uh, I went for my shot, second shot on Friday. And I went through and with the, I guess, RN, with the nurse helping did my own injection. It actually was only sore for like a day afterwards and I didn't get a giant bruise from it, so that's a good sign. Um, I haven't really noticed much all. Um, I'm starting to get, like, I've always had this very faint, fuzzy kind of mustache line here. So I wouldn't say the hair is getting any darker or isn't getting any thicker, but it's starting to darken up like right in here. And it, like hell if anybody's going to be able to see it on my camera, but like right in here, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, I'm still gaining a little bit of weight, even though my measurements aren't changing. So I'm assuming that's muscle. Um, uh, not really. I'm wearing a shirt that isn't going to show it off. Um. I guess it was like five and a half, six hours after my shot, I was driving home and I was like, ping, and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling hungry and horny. So, about five and a half, six hours after my shot is when it seems to kick in. Like, noticeably, I was just like, I suddenly feel like I'd like to eat and fuck something. I looked at the clock and I'm like, yep, five and a half, six hours. That's good to know. So, or wonder how long it takes. <laughs> That's how long it took me. Um, voice isn't dropping, not growing hair in any strange places yet. Oh, I am starting to kind of get more pimply marks. Like, I've noticed my, my skin, especially on my face and like in here, has gotten noticeably greasier. Like, I'll go and do this and I'll be like, oh, ew, fucking. Reminds me of being a teenager. Imagine that. So, my skin's definitely getting oilier. Not that I needed that. I can already oil a car with my skin. Um, my hair has not gotten any oilier. And has not started falling out or thinning anywhere yet. Same general sort of hairline here. Probably would help if I could actually take a shower, but... <laughs> um, so, not, not acne per se, but I am getting more... Not that you'd be able to see those either, but I am getting more pimples. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, no voice dropping. No hair growth, but hair is darkening a little bit. And... Acne, maybe, kind of, or at least oilier skin. And, uh... Whatever the other thing was I mentioned. Oh, muscles. There. Er, muscles. <laughs> yeah, now you get off my back. a lazy, lazy cat. The other one's over there. That's a bra. Where's the cat? There. You can tell I'm kind of like ripping this bedroom apart trying to pack. Um, I wouldn't say that I notice if I'm passing any better or worse than before. Um, I honestly don't think it's had much of an impact. Um, I did notice that, again, it was like the day, it was Saturday, it was the day after my shot, that enthusiasm to like go out and do stuff kind of started to pick back up instead of just being like, hey, I should go out and like put the laundry up. I'd be like, yes, yes, I should. And I'd go get up and do it instead of just sitting there going, I should do that. Yeah, I probably should do that, which was kind of really nice to get back. Um, but I haven't, 
I've slept maybe 10 hours altogether since Saturday morning, so... <laughs> if that enthusiasm isn't kicking in now, it's it has nothing to do with tea and everything to do with sleep deprivation. Which has nothing to do with the tea, either. I've always just had problems sleeping sometimes. It happens. Um, oh, my voice hasn't been dropping at all, but I have been waking up with that kind of like like frog in the back of your throat feeling without any of the other associated hoarseness or scratchiness that would usually come from being sick. So maybe my larynx is growing, swelling and expanding to manly proportions. <laughs> I doubt it though. Um... My hair is growing back out. It's starting to look a little bit better. I honestly still regret cutting it. I'm probably going to grow it back out to ridiculously girlishly long lengths because I like having longer hair. I've had short hair and I've had long hair. And I look good in both. But I kind of enjoy having the slightly longer hair. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I have too short of an attention span for long hair. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really think of anything else. I just... Everything feels better. I just feel better. <laughs> that whole analogy that a lot of people have used about your body running on the wrong fuel, I find that I, I can really grok that. It really just makes sense to me. It's like, I'm like yeah, that that's just what it feels like. It feels like finally running on the right fuel. You don't put diesel in an indie car. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have that, that much estrogen in me. Or at least, no, I shouldn't say that. I still have all the estrogen in me. I just shouldn't have such a tiny amount of testosterone in me. I just feel better. Like, I really couldn't give a shit less if people think I'm a boy or a girl. Even less than I used to. I just feel better. And it's, it's really nice. <laughs> I'm not actually this happy, I'm just kind of giddy from sleep deprivation, and, and it, I keep having these invading thoughts about what I haven't packed yet that I need to take with me, which is mostly clothes. Why haven't I packed any of my clothes yet? So yeah, um, I will do a video next week. It'll probably be late, so I don't get back until Tuesday. So I'll do it Wednesday or maybe Thursday. Yeah, that'll work.